really going to be stuck in here. Move away from my dad! Move away! Y'all messed with the wrong brother! Look at that. That's tears. I'm getting revenge, bro. I'm getting revenge. Did you press the button? No, bro. Today, we're gonna be attempting to spend the night in an elevator. But this is not just any elevator. This is the smallest one that we could find. We measured it and it's only 29 square feet. To put that into perspective, a Toyota Camry is 100 square feet. And the mattress that you're laying on right now, yes, the queen size mattress you're laying on, is 33 square feet. We're talking to you. Yeah, you. The time is currently 6.24 p.m. And let's show you guys are home for the rest of the night. Open her up. Boys, this is what we're working with. This is the entire elevator. If I spread my arms out, I can almost touch both sides at the same time. And I'm six foot nine. So it's pretty small up in here. And if he's six foot nine, I'm at least seven and a half. And how it's gonna work is, since we're gonna be a little bit bored in there, we brought a bunch of activities that we're gonna be getting into throughout the night. And once we enter that elevator, there is no leaving. If either one of us decides to exit the elevator, whether it be on accident or on purpose, they will have to do a punishment which is located inside this present. And uh, let me just tell you, you don't wanna be doing this. I'm not gonna be doing it. If anyone's gonna be doing it, it's this guy. All right, well. We're officially going to enter the elevator. Once we enter, there will be no leaving until the morning. Your boy is claustrophobic too, so drop a like and subscribe, because I don't want to be doing this. Ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Let me get one last breath of fresh air. <sighs> We're up in here, boys. We are up in here. Once it closes, it's over. Say goodbye to the outside world. No. And if you guys are thinking, yo, it doesn't look too small in here, well, that's because you're looking through a wide angle lens right now. Let's show you guys what it looks like to us. This is real life. This is what it looks like to us in the elevator. So, uh, yeah, yeah it's tight, it's tight. A little tight. bit smaller. I'm gonna have to zoom out just because if we keep it real life, y'all ain't gonna be able to see anything. There we go, even there. I can fit the whole thing in the camera in one shot. And ladies and gentlemen, we forgot to mention one thing. We're not doing this alone. Even though we probably should be. Move over boys, make some room. No! <laughs> It was already tight enough with me and Nick in here, and then bro, we have this guy join. Uh, bro, of all people I would want to do this challenge with, I can't lie, you might be lowest on the list. This dude rips cheeks, and when he rips cheeks, it smells like a You know how that smells? I had Taco Bell today too. Bro. Oh my god. There's bro. no way. You knew we were doing this and you literally ate Taco Bell? Why well, didn't know you guys were gonna have the smallest elevator in Nebula? Bro. E even a big elevator is small. Bro, this is tiny, bro. Did you press the button? No, bro. Why would I press the button? Ah, uh, bro. Bro, bro. bro, first one of the day. Hey. It's so small in here, bro. Can, can we even lay down? I'm gonna try to lay down in here, ready? All right, let's show them what it looks like laying down. Oh my, look at the space Ooh. on his head, bro. Literally one hand. Wait, there's no way we're all laying down. There's five and Nick. Oh, right, now I'm gonna have to be like this. Oh, boys. Boys. Dude, can you, do your feet are right yeah, next bro. to our head, though. Please, bro. Dude, both of y'all feet is right next to my head. Uh, move your head up here and just do it like normal. Oh, let's see. Oh, come on, boys. Give me no, some room. No, I can't. I can't. You probably have the most room. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. Cost the full, bro. Just the thought. The thought of being trapped inside 
a metal box. And we're voluntarily doing this. We volunteered to stay up in here. Just don't think about it. Just happy unicorns, happy unicorns, unicorns. We've been in here for five minutes, boys. It's gonna be a long night. Oh my, it's so bad. I'm really sorry, boys. This sucks. My goodness. Bro, that fart is warming it up in here. I can feel a temperature difference. What can I say? Couldn't hold it in, boys. I think the key to surviving this challenge is going to be getting low, because as we all know, hot air rises, cold air sinks, so that fart is straight up to the ceiling. Right here, it's not too bad. If you guys didn't know, one of my biggest fears is claustrophobia, and this is not good for your boy. Tight spaces like this, I just don't like it. I would rather face all my fears at one time than be in a claustrophobic space. I would rather be on top of a skyscraper while holding a snake in this hand, a tarantula in the other, bro. Like, this is the worst. This is, this is what I have nightmares about when I sleep. Especially with you, bro. Like, I can't believe we invented this guy. Right. My two worst fears all in one. Being in a tight enclosed space with this guy. But guys, comment down below, what is your biggest fear? I wanna know, what would your worst case scenario be? It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot, I'm about to take my clothes off. No, 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 no. Uh, I think it's time we break out the first activity. Yeah, I think so, I think so. Honestly, not even for the activity, just so that the door can open and we can get a little bit of fresh air. For real. Because I'm about to pass out. Yo, DJ Khaled, hit that button. Yes, fresh air. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, that feels good. It feels very that nice. Feels good. The first thing that we're going to be doing in here is making this place feel like home. Right now, I mean, take a look. There's nothing in here. We, we need... We need to make this place feel a little more comfortable. I'm gonna get some decorations. Make, make sure your feet stay in here though, or else you're doing that punishment. Oh, they're gonna stay in, they're gonna stay in. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Catch, boys. Oh, blanket? Oh, what are you doing? Oh my. Bro, there goes the tree. No, I got it, I got it, it's coming. Yo, a whole Christmas tree? Yo, 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 settle down, boys! We just getting started, all right? Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna have any room in here. Oh. How much stuff are you bringing in? Come on, right? Hey, hey. What? What? Ooh, is that close? Whoa. That's close! Oh. That's close! Oh. That's close! No. That's close! Oh, I'm in, I'm in! Look. I'm in! Oh my, look how close that is! I'm in! Yes, it's, it's touching the ground! He is touching the ground. Oh my gosh, that was right, close. Get the supplies, get the supplies! I'm trying! Once we moved everything inside, it was time to decorate. You Dude. can't be jumping like that in an elevator, bro. Dude, I'm trying to get this thing up here. Bro, stop. All right, all right, all right. Chill, bro. We really gonna be stuck in here. We had to improvise. We found another way to hang him. Make sure that back is sturdy. Yes, bro. It doesn't feel sturdy, bro. bro. All right, I'm, I'm doing it. Ready, go. <laughs> that back gonna snap, brother. <laughs> I feel that spine breaking. Oh my gracious. We got it. We got it! Oh, we only had to do that one like 10 more times. We just decorated this place and ooh -wee! It is now time for the official IBP Crit Store. Come on in, come on in. Come on, guys. Oh. Wait. Perfect. Come 
Come on in. Look at this place. Not much to look at, but uh, here it is. There's actually a lot to look at. Don't disrespect what we've done with this elevator, my brother. Look around, look around at the nearly 30 square feet of pure amazingness. Up in the first corner, we have the Christmas corner. We have the Christmas tree right here with the lights, voice activated. DJ Fab, sing him a tune, sing him a tune. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then on top, we have its very own Christmas hat. Only the best for this tree, my friends. A full 98 cents at Walmart. And of course, underneath, we have uh, this thing, just in case anyone decides to leave a little bit early. I'm looking at you, bro. No, I'm not leaving, bro. In this corner, we got DJ Fabuloso, his very own Christmas tree, just for the bud, custom made. Custom made for you, buddy, come on. I know you wanna pet it, go ahead. Don't act like you weren't playing with it before, before we started recording. And then this is my favorite part of the whole entire elevator, because there's so, there's so much, you know, it's hard to choose. Oh yeah, so much in this place. We have the overnight marathon wall. If you guys did not know, we released brand new IBP merch, 24 hour edition. As you can see, a picture of me and Nick in the original Target where we spent 24 hours. Also, the dates and all the locations of where we spent the night. This is part number seven in our overnight marathon. If you did not know, we've been posting an overnight challenge every single week since Halloween and we're gonna do one more episode. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on because you don't want to miss it. And also go to ibpmerch.com if you want to cop a poster because they're also signed by the buds. Here we go, a live signing for you boys. Come on now. And now let me show you the rest of this vast And now, let me show you the rest of this vast elevator. Come on this way, come on this way. As you can see, RTV is not here today, but he's here in spirits. Iconic face by the man, and uh, possibly one of my favorite parts of this entire place is this right down here, a custom IBP rug. One of you guys actually made this, will pop up your Instagram right here, but shout out to you for making this, and uh, it's really, just making it cozy like we wanted in here. That's the goal and I think we did a pretty good job, boys. Before, it was kind of sucky in here, but now it's like less sucky, but almost more sucky because there's less room because this thing takes up all the space. We can't sleep yeah. with that in here, but uh, at least it feels as cozy in here. We did about a good of a job as you can do in an elevator, boys. Oh yeah. I can't go 10 diamonds on this one. No. I'm gonna go a solid two and a half. Typically, this game is called Pin the Tail on the Donkey, but today we're switching things up. We're playing Pin the Arrow on the Hutter, and the rules are simple. Each player will get one arrow and one turn. They will be blindfolded, and they have to try to pin the arrow as close to the Hutter's mouth as possible. Whoever's closest wins. Whoever's farthest away loses. But to make things more interesting, we are playing for sleeping arrangements. Open up. As you can see outside, there are three different levels for first, second, and last place. In first place, the winner will be getting a comfort, a luxury. They will be getting an air mattress. In second place, they will be getting a sleeping bag. And in third place, aka last place, you will be getting a paper towel. No. No. DJ Fab, blindfold on. Here you go, sir. Three spins, and now all you're gonna get as a hint is Ricky is gonna tap Rohan on the mouth one time. That's what you're aiming for. One hit, give me that good. Give me that good, man. That's it? That's all you get, buddy. Moda Madeda! If it was pin the arrow on the hunter's shoulder, you'd be winning right now. <laughs> it's not easy. It's really, you can't see out of this. So good luck, boys. All right. NTK's up next. NTK's up next. Blindfold on. Now three spins. There's no way this is three. 
How to give you a little extra one for good luck, you know, for good luck. DJ Fab, give him one tap, give him one tap. Oh. <laughs> One hit, blindfold on. We're gonna go to this mini dog. I'm gonna secretly. I'm not gonna tap. Oh, man. I'm gonna tap. Five. Whoa, whoa! Six. Okay, okay. Dude, okay, you wanna give me six I'm minutes? Sorry. No, I did it. I give you three. Yo! Okay, here you go. Hand yo, out. Yo, Hand out. I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. NCK, tap the hutter's mouth. Watch out, bro. You're going the wrong way, bro. Dude, y'all trying to lie to me right now. Bro, you're going the wrong Lack way. spatial awareness, bro. You're not you going can't to touch you. anything. Watch out. You can't touch. Get out of my way right now. Watch bro. Out Watch out Get out of my way. You're bro, y'all messed me up, bro. You're no, right you, you cheated. Y'all cheated me. Y'all cheated me, bro. It's up, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like this. This sheet, this is made out of cheap paper. It sounded like high quality IVP poster. That's what the tap sounded like, bro. I know a good poster when I hear one. So you're all saying, if it was pitting the tail on the red bar, you would have won. You know what? If it was who can cheat the most, y'all would have won. Y'all messed with the wrong brother. Dude, why did you do that, bro? I was looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this game all night, bro. It's like the only thing I was looking forward to being in this elevator. We're playing this game. Dude, I think you. It's water. getting to you, bro. I think it's getting no, to bro. you. No, bro. I'm getting revenge, bro. I'm getting revenge. Man, I'm getting mine. Y'all can get yours. Y'all can get yours, bro. I ain't getting it for you. You ain't tricking me like that. That's my paper towel. Now you go get yours if you want it. Yo. Dude. Oh, he's smart with it, bro. That was actually really smart, bro. I can't lie. Come on. Me and my uni, man. Oh, don't you. Oh! 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 oh. oh. That was close! Oh, that was close. I almost got him. I almost got him. Ooh, you lucky today. You lucky today. All right, we're going to see if this thing can fit. I'm not going to lie. I haven't won many things on this channel. But I'll tell you much. This is nice. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. Sir, what about me and my paper towel? <laughs> Dude, this guy is really going to use the whole entire thing Yo. for himself. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Seriously, bro? Excuse me. Dude. Woo -hoo -hoo! It fits barely. Wow. Where, 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 where am I going to sleep, bro? Huh? I don't even care because what is a bed without a blanket? Am I right? Come on, boys. Right here. I don't think any of us need a blanket in here, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It's hot. Well, well, just in case, I'm down to split my paper towel. If you want to split the mattress with you, bro. No, you just ripped your blanket for no reason. Wait, wait. Come on! Hold this, right here. Seriously, bro? Hold this, hold this, hold this. Hold this. I'm actually mad, bro. Do you get that? Yo, I don't know if I just got that. But the elevator just went down, I think. And we're on floor one. I don't know if I got that, boys. Wait, this camera got it. This camera got it. It did, it did, it did. This ability, get it? Do you get that? DJ Fab did not touch any buttons. It made a weird sound too, bro. Like a Darth Vader sound. That's what it sounded like, Darth Vader. It turned out to be nothing, but after hours of not having access to a toilet, it was starting to take a toll. Oh, I think so. Hey, this remind you of anything? The OG Target, buddy? Waterfalls? I actually, uh, I think I'm gonna go get a little bit of water out there. It's just right within my reach. I might drink it right in front of you, and maybe I'll use the restroom in the water bottle. I know you can't. <laughs> you'd, you'd miss, buddy.
so huddy this is in here. Can't even watch a little YouTube while we're in here either. No service in an elevator. The elevator started heating up, and so did the tensions. I can't even make this up. This camera is overheating. Look, I'm gonna take a video on my phone to show you guys. You'll take it, didn't It's gonna miss now. Oh, I'm in the middle of take. Do you? Know? You're gonna miss it, bro. Look, it says that it's overheating because of how hot it is in here. Dude, bro, that's coming out of your check now, brother. I didn't even film that. I know, I didn't mean to. What do you mean bro, you didn't mean to, bro? no way. Sir, you kicked that so aggressive, like the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. Stop, fam! Fam, no! Move your feet, bro! I stretch. Bro, they smell like butthole! Dude, move away from my face! Move them away! Move away! Oh, for real, bro! It's already bad enough in here, dude! I need a stretch. No, get away! Get away! I need a stretch. Close your legs, too, bro. What are you doing? What about this? Bro, no! No! No, 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 bro. Bro, put your clothes bro. back on. You have nothing on, bro. <laughs> Looks like all good things come to an end. Their plot against me has turned into a plot against themselves. A civil war amongst DJ Fab and NCK while I recluse in my corner in the safety underneath my tree. <laughs> bro, it's getting to me, bro. It's getting to me being in here. I'm not even lying. I had to take my shirt off. It's getting too hot in here. Generally speaking, I don't feel bad. I always lose these competitions anyways, but for once I can feel like a king. A couple more hours left. I gotta use the restroom. I'm hungry. I can't wait to go home. I hate it here. What's up guys? Ricky checking in. DJ Fab has his whole bed over here. NCK is taking up the other half of the bed because they're plotting against me. They want they want to see me lose, but hey, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not leaving the elevator, boys. Even though I have every I have every reason to leave right now. Look at me. I'm crammed in between six inches of floor space right here, and this guy won't even let me get on the bed. All I have is this tiny little paper towel. If they're gonna make it miserable, I'm gonna make it miserable for them. Bro. Yep. Are yep. You, oh my god. That's why you don't mess with me. Bro. Y'all don't mess with me, bro. I'm gonna try to get some rest in between this little crevice. Keep you guys updated. I put up with this for a little bit longer, but eventually, I reached my breaking point. It's one in the morning. I've had enough of this. I, and I have a little idea, okay? What are you doing? I'm not leaving. I'm just opening it real quick. It's okay. What are you up to, bro? I'm just looking for something, bro. Yo, I don't like this. What you doing? Um, I don't have anything, bro. What are you doing? Close nah. the elevator. I can't find it. I can't find it. Close the elevator. Couldn't find it, bro. <laughs> no! No! Bro. No! What do you mean? How did that happen? Easy, easy! Sucker. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah. How's it feel, brother? You guys want to play these games, huh? Yeah, stay on your half now, and I'll stay on my half, and we're it's all good, okay? Things were getting rough by this point. We were exhausted. Nick even started tearing up. Look at that. That's the tears. Then, out of nowhere, we heard someone outside of the elevator. We hear someone outside of the elevator. It sounds like Bro, I definitely heard someone. You heard it too. It sounded like someone was taking like the trash out. Wait, I hear it again. Open, open, open. What's up, bro? Oh, holy cow, you guys all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah we're okay. What are you guys doing in there? Spending the night in the elevator. What? That's our friend. Oh. Is he like the leader? <laughs> He's, uh, some would say the opposite, the choker. 
The hut man. The what? What does that mean? Wait, this is such a random thing. Do you want to come in here and try to... Uh, it's a game we play. It's called pin the arrow on the hutter. I gotta work, but thanks. Okay, okay. I can't even process what's going on right now, bro. You can't process. He's walking by, cleaning everything, and then he sees this. He sees this. We were doing anything we could to try and stay awake, but eventually our bodies gave out, and me and Nick fell asleep. I didn't leave. Look, I'm still in. Yes, bro. I know you left. I'm, I'm checking the security cameras right up here, bro. Check it. I'm checking it. Check it. Yo, can clearly see you walk out, bro. I didn't think this was actually going to happen. Merry Christmas, DJ Fab. What is that? Oh. Uh, no, you're not shaving. shaving no. Oh, no. We ain't shaving you, buddy. I don't look happy. All right, there's no more, bro. <laughs> we didn't even give you a countdown. No it's countdown, bro. Ah, survive, survive. Birdie, it's birdie, it's birdie, it's birdie. Ah, it's birdie. What are you, what are you, what are you reaching for? You ain't using my paper towel, bro. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Yeah, look at me. Look what I. Look who's got. Look who got what you want now, bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm so tired. Look at me, bro. <laughs> Listen, if you say these words, you can have it. Say one hit, Rick. You are the best. You are better than me Bro, in all challenges. I'm not saying and it. And I am a hutter. I'm not saying it. Then you're not going to get this. Please, bro, come on. All you have to do is say a simple word. Right. A simple sentence that, may I add, is very true as well. You have one more chance before oh. I throw it. All right, one hit, Rick. You are the greatest in all the challenges. One hit, Rick. You are you're phenomenal. Oh, my. And the best, the best. And the best. And that you're a hunter. You're ah, hunter. please. All right, I'm a hunter. I'm a hunter. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. That's all you had to do. There you go. Where? Right here, right here. Where? But DJ, I was the snowman is a hunter, they all say. With a <laughs> one hut there and a one hut there. Two huts every day. <laughs> Yo, this is a fire remake. Look, you think it's funny? Huh? You think it's funny? To wipe it off. Bro, what is that? You think it's funny? Yo, what are you doing, bro? It's getting worse. It's getting worse. He looks like the ice dude from Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we were not okay. We didn't even know what we were saying at this point. It's a me, a Mario. It's a me, a Luigi. But before we knew it, Tom is currently 6:53. In the morning, so I think we just pulled off overnight in elevator. One of the most unpleasant videos we have filmed in a long time. We did it, bro. No way. Look Ready? at your eyes. Your eyes look so red, bro. No, I'm tired, bro. Open her up. Yes. Let's go. Oh yes. We oh. made it. Oh, we made it. Boys, and look at the remnants of this place. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It started off so nice, but as the night went on and on, it went downhill. Just look at this. Look at this. Look at the floor. Let's go, yes. Let's go boys. Breathe in that fresh air, baby. 
I miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't, check out our boy DJ Fabuloso. His channel will be linked in the description. He's been helping a bunch with the videos and he has his own channel, post some good content over there. So go over there, support the boys. And also, if you haven't watched the rest of the Overnight Marathon series, click right up here and make sure you watch because they are all bangers. We love you guys. And until next time, Yee! Hall of Fame on him, go damn on him, take I did legs day yesterday, it's tough. <laughs> I'm complaining about having to step on his back. And that is saying something because in only six foot nine, six foot, seven foot, eight foot, nine, I would rather be on top of a glass salon. Arriba! <laughs> oh my goodness, you would rather be on top of. Oh, Let's go. And I might pee. I might pee. My pants again. What am I saying, bro? I might. What? Who are you talking to, bro? It's genuinely hot. Touch my forehead. I'm not touching that sweaty thing, bro. Could cook a patty on that with that grease. Because <laughs> I don't have nothing to sleep on. Oh. Just like the rest of us.